Now, if you've ever wondered why it's so hard to swat a fly, a, a new study may help you understand smaller animals tend to perceive time as if it's in slow motion. And being able to perceive movement on a finer time scale allows them to escape from larger predators like humans wielding fly swatters. Well, with me to help shed some light on how the world looks to, say, starlings, squirrels, or indeed elephants, is our science reporter, Melissa Hogenboom. So, Melissa, um, how does this work exactly? Well, in this study, the team looked at how animals of differing sizes respond to tiny flickers of light. And they found that animals of larger sizes were much slower at responding, and animals that were smaller were much rapider. So that means they could see these flickers of light many more times per second than, say, you or I can. And if you imagine that you, you, remember, you might remember the scene Neo in the Matrix, he's do dodging all those bullets. That's exactly the sort of the type of scenario that a mosquito is seeing when you're coming at it with, with a fly swatter. So and the mosquito is, is, I'm going, that pesky mosquito, I'm going to get it. And the pesky mosquito sees me and goes, here's me going, that pesky mosquito. <laughs> it's like that. It's sort of like that. It's more that they can see lots of information quicker. So they can, so where, if you imagine a flickering light, you or I might not notice it, but an animal might be able to see it flicker many, many more times than we can, whereas we might just see it as one continuous motion of light. Gosh, that's extraordinary, isn't it? Well, and it varies in different animals, depending on size. It varies in different animals. So mosquitoes and flies can see... They're, they're the ones that can see things in slow motion, but larger animals, like an elephant, they won't be able to notice these tiny discrepancies in light. But the interesting thing is it's different among humans too. So we know that it changes depending on our age. So when we're younger, we're much better at perceiving these rapid changes. But what's even more interesting is athletes, like for example, a goalkeeper, they have to be very good at perceiving where a ball is coming from. And they're actually faster than, say, you're right, not that, I, I mean, I don't know how good your goalkeeping skills are, <laughs> but they're actually faster at knowing where the ball's going to come from. So everything slows down in age in humans is basically what you're saying. But Unfortunately, is there, it does. Is there an implication for, say, medicine or anything like that for humans? Well, with... You know, with medical te and technological advances always around the corner, we never quite know what's going to happen. But because we know that there's this change in humans, there's this change in age, and this an increased ability when you're a, a better athlete, we know that there might be a way to train the brain to see things faster. But until then, Formula One drivers are probably the fastest at observing the, the world move very rapidly. Wow, OK. Melissa Hogan-Boom, thank you very much for coming.